Texas social workers can now turn away LGBTQ and disabled clients in the state of Texas of the United States of America. The Texas Board of Social Work Examiners unanimously voted to change a section of its code of conduct following a recommendation from Republican Governor Greg Abbott to remove anti-discrimination protections for sexual orientation, gender identity, and disability. According to the Associated Press, Abbott's office said this change was suggested because the board's non-discrimination clause went beyond the state legislature's policy on social work. Equality Texas released a joint statement alongside six orga other organizations stating, quote, the social workers code of conduct previously helped ensure ethical treatment of all clients and prevented bias motivated misconduct. Now, with the removal of sexual orientation, gender identity and gender expression from the code, LGBTQ folks who experience discrimination could face more obstacles for getting the help they need, end quote. I think it's so crazy that he said it went beyond that because, you know, rights and constitutional protections and um, equality and all that thing, it's a floor, not a ceiling. So, and then this also goes back to the comment I made about the guy saying it's our right. Well, now people may be saying, well, it's my right to discriminate against people. Because of, ma you know, magic sky friend, deeply held beliefs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can somebody explain to me how is this any different from having normalizing, turning people away from for their skin color? Like, how is it any different? Like, can it's steel man maybe do the same thing? Well, I think culturally, people aren't doing that anymore that's just we don't do that anymore the cultures move beyond that but this is the new thing that people think it's okay to do that i mean 150 200 years ago they were saying that they could treat black people differently because it said in the bible and the tribes of ham and blah 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 well okay well sorry we've just sort of reformed our thought process and now we've had you know john brown voltaire come along and make it known that we don't do those things anymore but now we have this whole religious basis for discrimination it's exactly the same hmm. you know if you don't like someone who's gay you don't have to like them but what you can't do under the you know establishment clause is treat them differently or discriminate against the you know treat them differently under the law or, you know, or discriminate against them. Just, yeah, just, even in private, you can't. Okay, so you, here's the thing, okay? So it's just not about, it's not, ju it's not just culture. It's illegal right now in the United States for not just the government, not just the law, but a private company cannot say, sorry, we don't serve black people here. That's illegal in the United States, okay? And given how much constitutional lawyers and judges come up with you know talk about the spirit of the law the spirit of the law right and what this like law is like you're supposed to mean as a whole like okay so if based on the spirit of that law based on that you know how is this not automatically make them conclude that if it's illegal for somebody to discriminate based on uh, some people based on their biological attributes, I'm getting angry, biological attributes, which is their skin color, so it follows that it, you cannot discriminate against them even in private, not just the law, not just the government, even private companies, they should follow that you shouldn't be able to discriminate against them anywhere if you can't do it in a restaurant you shouldn't be able to do it in the hospital either no doctor should be able to do that to say like sorry we don't treat gay people here that should be illegal it should follow it should follow right out from that it's the spirit of that law it's more than the spirit of that law if you think about the dis the decision in oberfell which allowed um same-sex marriage it's an establishment clause decision which says that these people are equal under the law and by refusing to give them the same state or state you know given benefits of marriage because the state confers certain benefits on people if they're married 
All right. So by refusing to give it to them, you've denied them equal treatment under the law. So that right there tells you that it's not just the spirit. It's actually a decision. Let me read uh, this top comment saying, Adriana is saying they have the personal liberty to turn them away, but if they do, we should be questioning whether they should be having a license, uh, if their personal views could be, could, uh, could professional judgment. Personally, I don't think anyone, anyone that allows religious views to get in the way of their of professional conduct should be anywhere near patients and, vun and, and the vulnerable. Well, I would argue that the first part, is, it is right now their personal liberty. It should stop being their personal liberty. Like, we should make that illegal, I think. I think given, given that we already, I think everybody here at least agrees that people shouldn't have the personal liberty to say, like, sorry, we don't serve black people here. There's no difference between that and saying, sorry, we don't treat gay people here, okay? And, yeah, it is, just because something is a liberty, that doesn't mean that liberty cannot be taken away. And I think this liberty should be taken away. Um, I would also just like to highlight that it's not just the LGBTQ community, it's also people with disabilities. Um, and I don't want that to be left out of the picture either. Um, yeah, it's, it's insane. I, what kind of justification is, oh, this goes ab ab above state legislator? What? <laughs> well, I mean, I, ordinarily most, um, professions, whether they're, you know, licensed professionals, like a licensed social worker or physicians or nurses or, you know, all kinds of professions where that are, um, particularly if they're in the service profession, whether it's medical or sociological like or things like this, they ha all usually have their own code of conduct, which is for people who are in this profession, regardless of whether the state has issued a code of conduct for them. You know, there's lots and lots of professions. That's a normal and um, pretty common thing to have an ethical code of conduct for people within a profession, even if it's not part of the licensure procedure by the state. So I think it's really interesting that they're they're doing that. And then also, like I said, you know, those sort of things, I mean, rights and non-discriminatory things and constitutional protections, they're not a floor or they're a floor rather, not a ceiling. So you can't give people more. It's just part of this lie that somehow that seems to be spread that somehow people who are gay or people who are disabled or people who are different want something more. No, they want equality. They don't want more. The people who have the equality or people who have these rights have the more. <laughs> these folks just want what other people have, which is equality before the law and to be able to be treated like human being and not discriminated against. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description uh which is to our newsletter so hopefully some of our, we could email it to you so hopefully you get some of our content that way okay so yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not. We don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 